Hello, this is Mike Lively of Northern Kentucky University, and we're going to finish up our second part of Box Modeling 2. Now, I had to split the second part of Box Modeling into two pieces because YouTube only gives you uh, 10 minutes for each video. And sometimes that's why I'm actually hurrying to get through a video. But I want to make sure that you understand exactly what we've done here. We've actually created some of our own shortcut keys. We've created uh, Shift Control A for Inset, Shift Control F for Connect, and Shift Control N for NURB. So if you go in there and type those keyboard commands on your version of uh, 3ds Max, they won't work. You've got to create them. So let me review quickly how you create a keyboard shortcut, shortcut command. You want to go to uh, Customize, and from cu Customize, choose Customize User Interface. And here's all the possible commands in 3ds Max. And you might find something, for example, we'll look at the Hide command. I'm not sure there's a keyboard shortcut for that. There's Hide, Hide Poly, for example. There is an Alt H for that. Hide uh, Spline, there's not. So say I want to create something for that. I could come over here to Hot Key and just click on that after selecting uh, that name and hit uh, Shift Control uh, P, for example, I want to do that. And that's not good. So let's try another one. Shift Control um, U, for example. Now, uh, just off the top of my head, uh, but that one has not been assigned. You could choose that, and whenever you hit Shift Control U, you're going to be hiding your spline. So, uh, not one I want, so I'll just get out of that. But that is an example on how you create the keyboard shortcut commands. And so, uh, good luck with that. I just want to make sure that you understand clearly uh, what we're doing here. I don't want you to go to your uh, computer and hit Shift Control A, for example, and inset not work. It won't uh, unless you set that keyboard shortcut command. Once again, I encourage you. I set about four or five of these uh, ones that you can remember. I don't. I'm not crazy about setting a lot of keyboard shortcut com commands, but if you're using something a lot and something that you're creating, you're going to want to do that to save time and to use a, a double hand combination. Okay, let's continue with part two of our uh, part two. <laughs> uh, let's go to the next command, and that's the cut command. Alt C is cut. So I'm going to click right here. I'm going to hit Alt C a very useful command as well. Now notice when I'm on a polygon I get this large box and I'm on edge it's kind of smaller and I'm on a vertex it's even smaller. So let's cut from edge to edge. Let's say I want to make a not a center cut here but just a cut across this area here. So I just slice right there. And there you go. That's all. And right click to get off. And let's go to uh, 4, hit polygon, 4 and uh, a Q to, I'm going to go Q, there you go. And uh, four polygon, click on the polygon, great, and let's hit a bevel, control shift B, and you can see you can just bevel that up. Great. Here's another uh, very useful command, and that command is inset, so let's click on four, uh, click, excuse me, Q to get off of what I'm doing, click on four, and click on the polygon face. Let's learn about inset real quick here. If you go down to the commands here, you can see there's your inset command, with also a little box, you can click here to actually dial in using a spinner. But there's no shortcut keyboard command. So once again, you want to go to Customize and create a shortcut keyboard command. I just chose Control Shift A, and so if I Control Shift A, my uh, customized keyboard shortcut command, I can inset, and that's a very useful command as well. And you actually see what I've done. Actually, did an inset, didn't extrude or anything, just brought it in a little bit. We'll use that as well in upcoming tutorials. And now at this point, I can actually do something else. So if I go Shift E, I could actually come along here and extrude this. And there's extrusion, and if I hit W, I can uh, basically uh, move it if I want to. There you go. So Control Shift R, kind of rotate around, and see what we've done. And uh, you can see that's how easy it is to box model. Let me see if there's any more commands that we've left off, and we'll move on to actually building something. Okay, here's a real important one that's used a lot, and that is uh, loop and uh, ring. So let me show you how to do that real quick. I'm going to go ahead and go to Reset, and let's bring a new box out on the screen. Let's not reset. Let's go ahead and just go uh, uh, Control A to select all, and let's delete. Let's draw another box on the screen. Go to New, go to Box, let's draw a box on the screen. There you go. And let's Control R to arc rotate around. Let's right click to uh, Excuse me, Q, right click to create an edible poly. I'm Control R just to rotate over a little bit so you can see this. What I want to do is show you the ring command. So I'm going to go into edge mode, which is two. Let's select one edge, and I want to select all edges. Now, 
what I'd have to do the hard way is actually arc rotate around and control click on each one. But say I want to select all the edges at once, I can use command called ring. Let's come down here to the uh, menu and click on ring. And you can see what it's done. It's actually selected the control R. It selected all four edges. Isn't that fantastic? So ring's a very useful command. And from that point, I can go ahead and connect those. So if I hit my control shift F, my programmed uh, command key for uh, connect, you can see now I have a line going through all four of the uh, edges. Isn't that pretty cool? Now at this point, I can use another command. Let's go ahead and hit Q to get off of that. And that's loop. So say I want, now I want to select this entire uh, a sense uh, curve. And I can come along here, hit Q. I'm going to go ahead and select one of the edges. So let's make sure I'm on two for edge. Let's select one edge. And if I hit now loop, let's come up here to the loop command. Click on loop. It actually selects all the way around. And you see that's a very useful command too. And we'll be using that just for example. Now at this point, if I hit uh, W for for example, excuse me, let's hit R, and we're gonna expand that. Oop, there you go, expand that back and forth. So you can find this very useful. And now let's do something like build a house.